What's up, everybody? What up, man? What up? What up? What up? Y'all come on in, man. Let's get this post game reaction jumped off. I made it to my vehicle um, after Coach Tamika Reed um, press conference. Um, we didn't have the outcome we wanted. Uh, we lose the game, uh, 86 64, 22 point loss. Uh, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. I mean, the referees was dumpster truck juice, uh, as we expected. Um, Man, y'all come on in. Make sure y'all can y'all hear me. It's man, the weather. The weather is so crazy out here, bro. It's 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 raining, raining like it's been raining all day. It's super cold. Um, and um, man, I'm just trying to. I had to get here and thaw out for a minute. I froze on the way to the car. So uh, let's get it rocking and rolling, man. Y'all come on in. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not a. If you're not a channel member, what you waiting on, man? Come on, become a channel member. I mean, you know, you got we got bronze, we got silver, we got gold, we got platinum, we got every level, and um, it's all good, man. Uh, great, hell of a season. Hand clap for Coach Tamika Reed and our Lady Tigers. Um, I got my sunglasses on because I'm just giving my eyes a break from the screen. They're looking at screens, so I'm just kind of. Dimming the light a little bit. I'm not trying to be cool, but I am cool now. I'm cool in the month. I'm cool now. I am cool now. But uh, my ears are cold. Uh, like I said, it's it's a, it's a bit rainy, man. I'm, I'm gonna try to get out of here tonight um, as quickly as I can. You know, I got a flight out tonight. Uh, I already checked out my hotel, so um, I'm out of this thing in about three hours. But for the time being, uh, you guys got me. We're gonna talk about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to drop this in the chat just so you guys know that, you know, feel free to come on up and, and give your thoughts and opinions on the game, man. Uh, or, or you can just listen to me talk. Zoe, TD, uh, family, if y'all out there, come on up. Come on up, man. Shout out to uh, Timona. Uh, she loves D. Working, putting that work in. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel. Shout out to my brother, Aunt Mitchell. It's pop. Shout out to my girl KJ. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the JSU Tigers, the all, all the all the, you know, the Tiger Nation, uh, faithful across the nation for for pulling up, man. For pulling up and 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 representing and putting on for Coach Reed, man, and the staff, man. And uh man, one hell of a turnout, man. Hey, listen, listen, listen. We'll get into the game here in just a minute. I just uh I guess in the words of the great uh Denny Green, they were who we thought they were. <laughs> they were who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. But no, um, I got the stat sheet right here in front of me. I'm gonna delve a little bit into that. Uh, hell of a game by Tilly. Tilly came the ball. Hell of a game by Angel Jackson. Um, like I said, man, I'm not faulting the referees, bro. Um. Yeah, Ty, Ty, let me tell you something, man. And, and this is why, you know, I, I had love for Shaka, you know. 
from over from FAMU. I got love for merch, my brother from FAMU. But I don't fuck with FAMU like that, man. I rock with a few individuals, but I'm some weirdos, man. I saw Earl out there. Yeah, Earl, I'm calling you out. I saw you out there co-signing them racist white folks, man, online. Talking about we got annoying fans. I get it. It was a joke, but I'm sorry, bro. No, nah, dog. We on side with the enemy. And this is why y'all make us not root for nobody when y'all play none. And I, I get it. It was, a, it, was, it was a joke. He was trying to build on a joke. And I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he didn't even know who that dude was. That dude was a fucking jerk, by the way, man. Online. I just stay away from that stuff. I ain't even come in. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do none of that. So I just basically saw it and keep moving. But how we, you know, you, you, I guess we were annoying because we was in there talking to the referee. You know, folks was, you know, crying to the referees, man, because the referees were, were terrible, as usual. UConn's hosting this tournament. So, you know, that, that gum well, they don't want to have UConn lose, man. Um, but UConn ladies made some shots, man. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, they was just like he, he. Basically, what happened was the dude was like, "Man, Jack State fans are so annoying." And then um, Earl was like, "I agree." And he started laughing. And I, I get it. It's that's kind of like this, man. I'm I'm too principled for stuff like that, man. And I and this is what I'm saying. Uh, I ain't never siding with the enemy, bro. Ever. I don't care. I just won't say nothing. You know, if I if I'm on, I'm not gonna take you know, interculture battles outside into other spaces when those people hate both of us all together. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I, I'm done with that. And this is why, this is why folks like uh, Brother C. Lee, shout out to Brother C. Lee, big bro out there, man. This is why he don't budge. And I love him for it. You know, uh, he understands our position with this platform and how we do want to show love to other others whenever, the t whenever it calls for it. But he don't budge. And I love that. I love that about it. There it is right there. Boom, shock a lot. And that's why he, and I, I understand his position. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we respect the heck out of it. And, and y'all know if it came down to whether we would lose him or lose the others, we're going to always choose our big brother over the others. So I just wanted to make sure I clarified that because I respect, you know, his mindset. And I also respect that he respects our position and how we have to run this platform and his channel and play the little, you know, the little political game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Merch, my guy, man. Merch, my guy. And I, I, I rock with Merch because, you know, Merch was there for me when those who was, who was right, you know, when those who, you know, are in the family wasn't really, really willing to assist and help. So um, I'm going to definitely show love to my brother because my brother was there for me when I needed him. You know, he stepped up and he, uh, he provided an opportunity. He provided an opportunity for us to partner and do some stuff, and we're going to continue to do that. So. In, in certain fan bases, you grab a couple of individuals that you can rock with, and the rest of them jokes, you just throw them away. You just throw them to the curb. Not, not, not literally, but you get what I'm saying. But uh, anywho, let's move on, man. Jack State versus uh, UConn. Um, I'm beyond proud. I, I really am. I'm beyond proud of our ladies. Uh, I'm, I'm beyond proud of Coach Tamiga Reed, Coach Cousin, uh, Coach Williams, Coach Campbell, uh, the entire support staff. Um, the I love Tiger Nation. Uh, I am one hell of a ride, man. It made me want to invest. I, I really want to invest more in basketball, man. That's it made me. T Coach Tamika Reed has. I mean, I mean, I got a confession. I got a confession, y'all. I got a confession. I've been having a love hate relationship with basketball over the past maybe decade. Y'all know I love basketball. I played basketball. It's been I've been playing basketball all my life. You know what I mean, and um. Played in college, in junior college. Uh, I retired after my JUCO year. And I just absolutely hated the way that the game has changed. I hated the direction that it went. I'm tough. I'm tough, man. And I don't like, you know, I, I, I have the mindset of a coach, but I, I refuse to get into coaching because I don't, I don't know if I, I, I know my limitations. I, I don't have the proper temperament. I don't want to deal with parents. I don't want to deal with the politics. I don't want to deal with the bull jump that comes with, coaching so I, I respect the heck out of coaches who are willing to take this on as a profession and grind it out and really every season come back and have to continue to develop continue to recruit continue to teach the game all that good stuff coach Tamika Reed and these women's uh, these, this women's basketball program has reinvigorated my love for college basketball but just for basketball man uh it just has really made me 
want to in, invest more into. I know we love football, but family, listen to me and listen to me carefully. I'm telling you guys this right now. And maybe some people may not feel me when I when I say this. Um, if I'm A.D. Robinson, and he said this before, if I'm A.D. Robinson, I go all in on renovating the AAC. I'm going all in on investing in our basketball program. I'm going to tell you why. There is a lot of money in basketball. And when you talk about this collective space, when you talk about this NIL stuff, basketball is a easier, you, your impact can be felt a lot easier and quicker. Uh, man, this NCAA tournament experience is, is, was amazing, man. I, I never done this before, uh, in this media space. I appreciated the opportunity. Um, yeah, Timona did. And Timona did actually ask some great questions, by the way. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I was sitting right next to it. I wasn't going to ask any questions. I just wanted to watch it and kind of stay in the moment and, and, and live in the moment. Um, my goodness, man. I love the atmosphere that UConn had. The student section. The intentionality of the overall experience of basketball at UConn. Now, this is a basketball blue blood. This is basketball royalty. There's a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of NBA stars, a lot of WNBA stars hanging up in the rafters, a lot of championships, Jim Calhoun, uh, Gino R. Emma, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on and now Coach Hurley. Listen, I understand that. But I'm watching our latest play today. I'm watching Paige Beckers. I'm watching Aaliyah Edwards. These are WNBA players. And I'm watching our ladies. I watched Tealy go out there and absolutely just go, go, go. <laughs> I mean, she goes super saiyan on them. She just, she just black out and start hooping. I loved how Teeley balled out today, man. I love the way Angel was just getting in there and just doing her thing. Yes, we fell short. But I said to myself, oh, my gosh, if we could just invest a little bit more into our women's basketball program, we, are, we, can, be just on, we can be right on par with, with the Yukons of the world, man. I mean that, and I mean that, and I mean it again. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you right now. We are this close. And that game was way closer than the score looked like. Now, trust me when I tell you, yes, they made shots. But I am a basketball aficionado. I am a basketball student of the game. Listen, we're going to get in these stats real quick. I'm telling you guys, I watched them referees whoop us. And that shit was so strategic. It's so strategic. Because I'm going to get into one stat real quick. Let's get into the fouls. Oh, yeah, let's get into the personal fouls. Personal fouls, UConn, 15, Jackson State, 18. I'm going to tell you what they did. They swallowed their whistles, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, they blew, they blew the whistle. Because what they were trying to do was they were, they were trying to close the gap on the foul discrepancy. So we were down the dub. So they started giving us some bullshit. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And what they did was the fourth quarter, man, Aaliyah Edwards should have fouled out damn near in the first half, bro. I sat there and watched. She they let her joke. They let her go over the back. The, all them traveling calls that they called on us, I was sitting right there to Timon. I said, look at her feet. It, they could have called travel on UConn 17 times, man. I'm telling you what I know. I know the game. So I ain't nobody. I'm not in here saying that whatever. You cannot win a game when the referees are allowing them to be physical in very specific moments. Yes, you can say, okay, we should have went to the hole. Yes, we should have made our free throws. From the free throw line, we were 16 for 22. That's a pretty good day at the office for our team. We, was, we make six free throws. Okay, we don't lose by 22. We lose by 16. Okay, you know, they, they missed one free throw. Um, but the assist in the game, I got to give the credit to where credit is due. They had 23 assists. We had 13. They beat us by 10. They moved the ball very well. They run a really good set. And somehow we just kept losing Shade. Shade was in the corner over there picking her damn nails. Yes, we can get into the basketball standpoint. But Gino R.M. was a great coach, man. And I'm telling you, they had a good, a good strategy. They running those girls off those screens and they were doing what they were doing. 
you allow the big girl to get in there, ah, she, you know, get physical. And I can't even blame them. I cannot blame the players. If the referee is going to let me get away with some bullshit, I'm going to fire your ass too. 100%. But I'm going to tell you like this right here. Let me tell you this, and I mean this with everything Give me. You can take it how you want to take it. When that girl went up with that elbow and hit Aaliyah, hit, hit Layla Walker in the face with that elbow, I'm tapping that nose, man, on purpose. I'm just going to make it look accidental. That's just who I was on the team. Man, I'm not going to let you hurt my girl like that. I know it was a technical too, but I'm saying I'm going, I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a rebound and I'm going wide with it. I'm going Draymond Green on that. No, oh, man, we got to send a message. Not, and, then, and I know Coach wasn't going to tell them to do nothing like that. But we need some junkyard dogs, man. And by the way, we ain't, we ain't sponsored by Sprite. I'm just drinking one. We're going to get a sponsorship eventually. I'm serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. What I'm saying to you is, man, they were, they did their job, man. And I'm telling you, when you go back and you you remember the you remember the referee who was who was fixing them games in the NBA, man, you can see what the script was. The script was very obvious. Now, they were already a good team. But you can't let that team lose to no Jackson State, man. You can't. They had they respected the hell out of our girls, man. Now in the first quarter, we couldn't buy a bucket. In the first quarter, we was three for seventeen. You can't come out there like that. You can't come out three for 17. They were nine for 18. They made, they were two for five from the three, 40%. We were 0 for eight. Coach Reed made a really good point about advancing women's basketball and how we got to get these games to neutral sites. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this right now. If we got to 2021, 2022, 2022, 2023, Jackson State. No, no, no. The 2020, the 2021, the 21-22 team. If we got this team with Daisy Rogan, um, uh, uh, Amisha Williams Holiday, we can beat, we beat that team. They was going to have to really put the, they're going to have to whoop us with that whistle. They were going to have to whoop us with that whistle, man. They was going to really have to whoop us with that whistle. If we had that guy, that team right there, and that's what I'm saying, that's under Coach Amiga Reed, man. With a with a with a you know what I'm saying with a, with a Covington, a younger Covington, a younger Luckett, a younger Tilly, a younger Maya Crump. I'm just saying, man. My, my gosh, man. I hope we can keep our coach because Coach R. Emma said something in the in the press conference. I don't know if y'all heard him. I'm putting this out there right now. He said something. He said a lot of these bigger programs are going to have to stop. Yeah, the black referee did try to be fair. That little short joker, I was like, man, you so terrible, bro. I still, I, I, I couldn't believe they let that girl jump over that girl back. She jumped literally over Walker back like this. And the pitch, you can kiss my ass. You out your fucking mind if you think we got all our calls. Fuck out of here. I ain't finna, I don't care nothing about that. Ban you, you blocked. Come up in here with that with that idiot. Talking about some Jackson State got all the calls. How we got all the calls and we had more goddamn fouls than they did? They had fifteen fouls called on them. Fifteen fouls called, and and and, and I, ain't, I ain't let them talk. I ain't let nobody. I'm not. I I am not doing that. No, I'm not. No, we're not doing that. I don't give a damn about that. No, he already out of here. I don't care. Let me tell y'all something. I am not being. This ain't community king today. This is Jackson State Tigers. If you don't like it, carry your ass on about your business. I'm, I'm dead serious. If you spam my chat, I'm blocking you. It's that simple. I ain't coming in here to talk to the community. I'm in here to talk to the Tigers today. That's what I'm going to talk about. I don't care about outside opinions. I don't give a damn. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. This is not a whatever. Yeah, it was a clean block. Yeah, I'm just I'm just keeping it in the buck. I'm 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 you know, whatever. I ain't trying to be friendly today. You know what I'm saying? I'm not running, they're not running my blood pressure up, man. My blood pressure is fine. I'm calm. I'm just letting folks know that. See, you got what I'm saying? I gotta put that out there. We're not talking to the we're not talking to this is not a a broad type show right now. That ain't for that. You can come on on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, when we when we when we're speaking to the world. Right now, this this is a family conversation. This is a post-game reaction. I'm giving my thoughts and my opinions. 
And what I'm saying to you is, is that anybody that jumps on here uh, and talks and says that is, is a freaking idiot. They are. Because there's no way you can look at the game. Now, am I saying that if we get those calls, we win the game? That's not what I'm saying. Two things can be true at the same time. What I'm saying is it is a much comp much more competitive. It is a much closer game if we get those calls. But if the play if, if UConn got eight players, they don't want to get those players in foul trouble. So they did swallow their whistles on a lot of that stuff. And they weren't calling it at one point. So I wish there was a way to break that down. First quarter, it was 22 to 8. Second quarter, they outscored us 27-20. The third quarter was much closer in the fourth. Listen to this, y'all. In the fourth quarters, um, if in the fourth quarter, the third and fourth quarter, they only outscored us by one point. They only outscored us by one point. The first quarter killed us. If you really get down to it, the first quarter killed us, man, uh, because they 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 went on a they was up by fourteen, and then the second quarter they they went up they they went up and uh, they outscored us by seven. So that's twenty one points right there. So you take the 21 points and then you that's how you get your 20, 22 point game right there. So I'm just saying, if you go back and rewatch this game, I don't have to rewatch it. Um, these food yeah, they did. They did. And, I, and it, what's, so, what's so crazy about the travel calls? What's so crazy about the travel calls is their girls were literally doing the same thing. They literally could have made the exact same call. And they just chose not to. I'm like, if you're going to call that, I was watching Paige Beckers. That little girl, Shane. Every time she shoots the ball, she do a little, she do a little, a little jump, a little jump with her feet. She jump and set her feet. And I said, look at her feet. Look at her feet. Every time. I'm saying if you want to call travel, but I was just amazed. They took two points off the board for Tilly. Tilly did a move. She took two steps and, and rolled the girl and they called her travel. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we doing here? A clear over the back. A clear push, nothing. A clear block, foul, <laughs> foul. So what I'm saying is, yes, they called 15 fouls on them, but those fouls were very strategic. If you remember, there was only one quarter that we were really in the bonus, and that was quarter number three. Quarter number three, we got in the bonus. And I think in the fourth quarter, we got in there at the end of the game, damn near. You know what I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about? So we weren't even close to being in, in, they weren't even close to being in foul trouble in the first couple of quarters of the game. I'm just telling you how it is. All right. Aaliyah Edwards, she was eight for 13, uh, four for four from the free throw line. She had 10 rebounds, 20 points. So she had 20 and 10, first game back. KK Arnold. We really should have just played off of her and made her score. She didn't want to score. Obviously, uh, Ashley Shade was the one that they was really trying to get the ball to. Maul did her thing. She did okay. Maul had, um, Maul had seven points. KK Arnold had two. But damn, Paige Beckers, we knew she was going to hit close to 20. She's going to get her buckets. Then in order to stop the game, um, Aaliyah Evans is good. We said she was going to be that. But Shade, we, we, we couldn't give, we can't give 20. 26 up to shade. You follow what I'm saying? Um, hey, 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 here you go. You can, He said, hell, you can tell calls with shaky because the announcers going back and forth on the calls or they just be silent. You see what I mean? So it was what it was. We, we knew, we knew that we knew that it's not a, it's not a, we're not making excuses. We're just giving our reaction to the game. You damn right. Uh, Tilly is a WNB player. So is Angel Jackson. Oh yes, she is. Angel, you see, y'all saw Angel Jackson hit her with that, uh, hit her with that, that Hakeem Dream shake, turn around. Angel was lights out from the top of the key, man. She went at her, man. Yeah, we, uh, of course, they know what it was. But I'm gonna say this though, I didn't, I didn't finish my point with uh, Gino. Gino said that these bigger programs are gonna have to stop recycling some of the same coaches that come from other programs. He said they're going to have to start getting outside the box and uh, when it comes to hiring coaches at some of these bigger programs. And he was talking about that when it comes to the likes of with Coach Amiga Reed. Uh, Coach Amiga Reed, is, uh, she has made her mark nationally, man. And if we don't believe that and we feel like she's expendable, then, we, then you know, it'll play out. 
Just say it. It's going to come down to, you know, how we secure that. But I think, um, I think she got a lot of meat. I think she got a lot of meat on the bone at Jackson State. I would love to see what Coach Tamika Reed do after this season at Jackson State and see how we can assist her. Let's pay her, let's get her paid and let's get her some recruiting. Let's get, a, let's get, let's get some NIL money rolling into that women's basketball program, man, so we can get some of them dogs. We can't, we got to, I was just talking to the uh, Tealy, Bo Tealy Bowler's um, parents uh, up in the, hey man, I appreciate you guys just as much as y'all appreciate me, man. Um, I'm living my dream right now, man. My dream is to do this. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it even a step further. This is how I've always been though. If I do anything, I'm going to go all the way with it. I don't do that half ass stuff, man. I don't do that. If you don't like me, that's your damn problem. You know what I'm saying? If you love me, I love you back. That's how we get down with it. That's all we know. My dad said there's only one way to do it right. If you're going to do it, do it. If you ain't going to do it, don't mess with it. If you're going to go half ass, don't do it. So with anything we do, we're going we gonna to do it, man. We're going to do it. We had a football scrimmage today, I think. Uh, I had to follow with, uh, with Austin to see how that went. As much as I love football, man, all I could, I just, I really just, en I enjoyed this so much, y'all. I enjoyed this. So this atmosphere was amazing. Somebody asked about the atmosphere. Oh my gosh, man. This is an amazing basketball atmosphere. This is an amazing basketball atmosphere. Uh, no, it wouldn't have mattered if you went zone. Zones, uh, I, I, I used to kill zones. I, 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 I used to beg for zones because if you go a zone, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to shoot you out of it. And, and honestly, they were making shots. And that's what Coach R.M. said after the game. If they made shots, they had a chance to win. If they wasn't going to make shots, then they was going to be in trouble. They made shots. But to what Coach Amiga Reed said, we got to get these games. Women's basketball got to get these games on neutral sites. Man, you walk into these type of environments, man, and they get all home cooking, man. They got the referees. They hosting it. I understand that it's a lot going on in the NCAA tournament, but with all the money that's circulating in these programs, Man, put their ass on a neutral site. And I'm going to just tell you like this right here. This UConn team ain't going to the – they're not going to the Final Four. They're not. They're not, man. I, I mean, there's some other teams out there that's just going to – that, that that's going to get in their shit, man. That can, they got a little bit more, just as much mo money as they do. Uh, but I, I just firmly believe that if we would have came out um, with a little bit more firepower, we would have been able to keep this game a lot closer than what it was. Um, but Paige Beckers is everything that uh, we, we knew that she was. Aaliyah Edwards is everything that we saw that she was. I just wasn't expecting Shade to get off the way that she did. She really impressed me a lot. Uh, she really did. That was a, That's the game. You got three players in double digits for them, and all three of them had over 20. So, uh, Coach, shout out to Coach Lewis. If you go back to the show last night, my coach. That's right. That's right. Uh, they, got, they had eight players. Uh, they had eight players today. They had eight players, J.R. Hunter. They had the first five, and, and uh, they, they got eight. I'm sitting there looking at it. Off, off the bench, they got Ice Brady. They had Cadence, uh, 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 I guess, Cadence Samuel, and then they had Inez uh, Bedencourt. All of them played. Um, it was eight players. They had eight. So, uh, uh, so here's my point. Shout out to my coach. Um, Coach, Coach Lewis said this last night. He said in basketball, all you need is three stars. You need three big dogs. I need some folks that want to get active with us, man. Let's give out some KC1400 NIL deals for the, for the women's basketball. Let's go get three big fish, man. Let's go get three big fish, man. Let's put some money in their pocket, y'all. We can do that because we got a we got a we got a foundation. We got a collective. We got all that. Y'all y'all get active with us, baby. Let's put some money into these programs, man. You do keep doing what you're doing on everything you're doing. Keep donating. Make sure you join your local national alumni chapter. Make sure you donate to the university. Make sure you donate to the boom. Make sure you do everything that you do. We just doing something a little different over here. Yeah, we doing something a little different over here. I'm and my mindset is simple. We cannot allow the Madison Bookers of the world to get outside our backyard. I get it. I understand. She went to Austin. Austin is a sexy town. I live there. Trust me. 
It's an amazing school. It's an amazing. Look, it's UT. I get it, baby. I understand that. It's, it, I get it. I understand. You know, I, I totally understand it. But we're gonna, they're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight, man. Oh, Reed said she's trying to kick them walls down. Trying to tear them walls down. That's what I'm saying is, oh yeah, hell yeah, she got that bag. I'm just using her as an example. I'm not saying we would have got her. I tell y'all, I ain't saying we would have got her. Now, what I am saying, hey, hey, it was, hey, 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 Tyler. It, it wasn't that big of a now, now now Paige Beckers and Ashley Shay, the little Ellis, they make them make them was all Americans. Man, that girl was a top 15 player in the country. That you have to account for that. You have to account for that. In certain areas, they did have that that start that's their five or our five was a slight, they had a slight edge in talent. Yes, they did. But it wasn't a wide gap. It was not a wide gap. And I'm I'm not saying that you're saying that. It wasn't a wide gap. What I'm saying is this. Oh my gosh, if we could just, boy, if we can, if we can give Coach Reed, I said this to Tamona, y'all. I said, oh my gosh, if we can just invest a little bit more in basketball. Y'all, we know that woman will take us to the promised land, man. We got to keep Tamika Reed in Jackson. Operation keep Coach Reed in Jackson. I'm, st I'm serious. We got to keep her in Jackson, man. I'm serious, man. We got to keep her there. Because if we keep her there, we can turn Jackson back into the, 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 the basketball mecca that it used to be. Everybody that's from Jackson know what the basketball community has always looked like. Shout out to Ken High School. Shout out to uh, 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 Yazoo City and Ken for bringing the folks back out and packing out the damn Coliseum and reminding us that the basketball community in the city of Jackson is still strong. Man, that doesn't mean you got to get all your players from Mississippi. That, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is I, we love basketball too. And man, oh man, oh man, I'm telling you guys, man, we close. We close. I'm just, I'm just excited about what it could be. I see the vision, man. I'm a visionary, bro. I see it. I see it as clear as day. And listen, man, I don't speak for nobody but myself. And I just, I just be sharing my, my thoughts with people. I'm just telling you, bro. I'm so serious, man. Man, we need to re we need to renovate that. We need to start a damn campaign to renovate the AAC and turn that AAC into a basketball haven. Do you hear me? Get that. I'm talking about new. Hey, look, we need Wi-Fi. We need new seats. New seats. We need fresh paint. We need a new floor. Turn that AAC into a basketball haven and watch the people pull up. Watch the Jacksonians pull up, man. Man, the hell with the vet. We can't fix the vet. The vet, the vet older than me. <laughs> man, we ain't got that kind of money. But, but what A.D. Robinson said, $10 million. We can renovate the AAC, baby. Get a brand, get some real concessions in that thing. Man, let's get the basketball program rocking and rolling again. Man, I had fun, y'all. Oh, I had a good time, man. This was amazing. This was amazing, man. Appreciate them for putting us up. Man, we sitting on the sideline, man. We sitting on the court, you know, with the media. That was that was wonderful, man. You know, at our facility, you know, sit sideline like that, you got to pay for it. But the media was put into this spot, man. And I mean that, man. That's right, JSU by 40. That's right, man. Make sure y'all go sign up for it, man. For real, for real. For real, for real. And uh, all I'm saying is, is that I believe that we could really uh, make this thing into something. I'm just... I just <laughs> could y'all imagine that we had some some sweets at the AAC? Oh, for real, man. Some sweets. Man, y'all know we love to buy sections. We love to buy... Man, it's going to pay for itself. We got that big, beautiful scoreboard up in there. Man, we can't... We done, we done parked the Ferrari in the, in the, in the, in the hood, man. Y'all know I ain't lying. Come on, man. Y'all don't, don't get all bougie on me. Don't y'all get in y'all feelings. Uh, you talk. I mean, they fans, they fans did okay. They fans did good. They fans represented. They cheered loud as hell when they scored. They cheered, they booed when the referees weren't on. Um, Man, anything, bro. There's so many ways that we can do that. But we got to be intentional about it. 
we got to, if the AD comes out with a plan and say, look, I want to, ro- I want to renovate the AAC by 2026. We need $10 million. Hey man, we're going to, you know, we need, we need them businesses to pull up. We need them local. We need, we need them local, them heavy hitters locally. Man, go on, donate a million dollars. Go on, donate 500,000. Go on, donate 250,000. We got to get that 10 million, man. Go up in that thing and gut that motherfucker out, man. Gut it out, start over. I mean that. Gut it out, start over, man. And, and, and the boom did their thing, man. Boom did their thing. They represent. I got I got a few clips. I got I definitely got a few clips. But uh, but anyway, let me jump back into these stats real quick and then I'll come back to my thoughts. Uh Jack State again, like I said, 86, 64. So when you look at our ladies, man, Maya Crump, she played uh 22, 20 minutes. She had some foul trouble. She actually fouled out of the game. She only had, um, my Crump only had, she had six points. Um, uh, we, we needed more from her. We needed more from her. She scored six points with five fouls. I knew she had an arduous task. Angel Jackson, 13 points. Um, she only had four rebounds, though. We needed more rebounds. We definitely need more rebounds. Tealy Bowler had 25. Tealy was in, she had, she was four for six from the free throw line. She was five for 12 from, from the three-point line. My goodness. And she was eight for 20 for the game. Kashana Luckett, um, very, very tough. We She turned the ball over five times. She had seven assists. So she was right at her one, you know, one, one assist per turn. She kind of cancels herself out. She was net, she was a net positive two for assists today. Um, but she, you know, she did what she could do, man. Uh, played 24 minutes. She only had three, uh, she had six points. Uh, Mahoney, two points. Uh, she played the least. Avent was the one that was really, Avent, you can tell she was pretty frustrated. She was six for seven from the free throw line, but she was only one for six from the three. She was four since she started pressing, started getting a little frustrated. Uh, and, and she needed, really needed to settle down a little bit more. Um, Layla Walker got on the board today, uh, with a put back. Haley Breeland, 0 for 4, man. Tough day at the office today. Three, three, she had three, three brutal turnovers, man. Um, uh, we, I told you guys on the, in the, in the preview, not the preview, but on the shows during this week that they were going to play the passing lanes. I told you it was a, it was a very aggressive team and very aggressive guards. So um, I kind of knew they was going to do that. We was going to have to be precise with the passes. And we got lax a little bit, man. So uh, for the game, for the game, though, for the game, we had 16 turnovers. They had 15. So we we kind of uh, we kind of balanced that out. We can't did the turnovers really affect? Maybe it maybe they scored. They had a lot of scoring on their turnovers. And I would say I don't have that stat. Oh, here we go. Let me tell y'all where we got killed at. We got killed in the paint. They killed us in the paint. Paint points, 34 to 14. That's the game. They beat us by 20 points in the paint, and we lost by 22. That is the game. We really needed to get to the game. We really, that's right, uh, Miss That 16 0 run killed us. It hurt us. It hurt us bad. Uh, without that run, uh, man, we played this game over. I think we could play with them. We, 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 we knew we could play with them in the second half. We was that we only lost by one point in the second half. That's that that, that tells you everything you need to know. So uh backdoor cuts all day long. I said that on the sideline, uh my goodness. When you have over we have aggressive guards, you have to cut. And we did some cuts in, uh, in, in some of the adjustments that Coach Reed did, and it worked. They did some of the same as well. But but points off of turnovers, points from turnovers. UConn had 16. We had 13 points off turnovers. So they was kind of a they was a net positive three and and they they beat us in the paint. There go your game. Turnovers, they scored three more points off of our turnovers than we did. And they beat us by 20 in the paint. Second chance points, it even out. Jack State got 10, they got nine. Fast breaks. We got one. They had nine. But we knew that was a fast break team. Bench points, we outscored them by nine. They didn't really have a bench. They played, they starters are the ones that beat us. Uh, one tie, one and two lead changes. That was at the earlier part of the game. Um, but like I said, first quarter, 22 to eight. Second quarter, 27 to 20. Third quarter, 23 to 22. Fourth quarter, 14 to 14. Um, when you look at their shooting percentage for the game, UConn shot 50%. From the free three-point line, they shot 38%. And from the free throw line, they shot 90%. In comparison... We shot 33% for the game. We shot 22% from the three-point line. And we shot 73% from the free throw line. That go the game right there. That, that, that basically gives you the game. Those are the stats. Um, 
it was what it was from a rebounding standpoint. Total rebounds, they out-rebounded us by nine. We only had 36 rebounds. They had 45. So when you win the regain, if you win the turnover battle, the foul battle, and the rebound battle, that you got a pretty good chance, free throw battle, you got a pretty good chance of winning the game. Respectable game, uh, respectable outcome. I, uh, I'm proud, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Tim for taking care of us, man. KC 1400 Media Group in the building. Yes, that's right. We came. We had a good showing. I enjoyed myself. It was outstanding. It was, it was a great atmosphere for some basketball. All it did was made my appetite for Jackson State basketball to go up even greater. Um, I think we, I think we right there, man. I think we got it. We got it. We got an opportunity to really take Jackson State basketball to the next level, man. And it's going to, it, it comes down to how we approach, uh, growth advancement. Uh, um, how, how do we, how do we take, how do we do that? That's what it's going to come down to. That's what it's going to come down to. Um, this was a great atmosphere. UConn has a, uh, has a, a pretty dope, uh, uh, campus, it, it, like typical college campus, you know, all the facilities. I talked to the lady. She said they just got a new hockey arena, softball. Uh, she said, we got some really good donors. I said, I can tell. Hockey, lacrosse, soccer. Uh, they, every program up here got its own facility. Every last one of them. The lacrosse team got their own field. The soccer team got their own field. The basketball, obviously, and they got a practice facility. Uh, the football print team. Uh, got their own facility. The baseball team got their own. I mean, listen, man. Hey, they big timing up here. But at the same time, you know, we right there, man. Coach Tamika Reed got, let us, gave us a glimpse of what it can be. Uh, just imagine uh, what we can do. Um, I, I hope that I hope that the young ladies that are possibly playing around the country um, that are looking for a new home that want to experience an HBCU that want to come to Jackson and play for a winning program under coach Tamika Reed. Um, you know, I really, really, really hope that, um, they really give Jack State some serious consideration. Hey y'all, we was on ABC today, baby. We was on national Lanier TV. You know what I'm saying? We was on national TV today representing for the, I love 1400 J.R. Lynch street, man. Be proud, man. Y'all make sure y'all go love on coach Tamika Reed on, on, on social media over love, man. Tell her how much you love her. Tell her how much you appreciate her. Tag the ladies, man. Tell them how much you're thankful for the year that they had. And let's tell them, let's run it back, man. Let's run this thing back. I want to get back, man. This is fun, y'all. This is fun. I feel really, I feel like, damn, I, I, haven't, I haven't loved basketball like this in quite a while. Man, listen, y'all. Uh, A.D. Robinson is tight, man. They, he, got it, he, got, he got what he need. The president was there. A.D. Robinson, you know what I'm saying? We got a new SID. I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about the administration, man. I, I know if whatever we can pay, we will pay. Trust me. And if, if they need something else, iota. Now, the thing you're going to have to worry about, is there going to be some big school that's going to call and throw a big ass bag at them? That's going to be the thing. It's always the unknown that you got to be mindful love man but she deserves it she deserves everything that she got coming at her coming to her um my goodness man what a season what a season coach Tamika Reed had man um the records are on here man but damn you know 27 wins this year most wins in school history Miami and Clemson are open hey we played Miami hell they might give her a call <laughs> and we should have beat Miami actually Lord have mercy but I say this much. I know one damn thing. If uh if she do leave, which I'm not putting out there, I'm gonna continue to support Coach. That's my sister, man. You know, but I want her in Jackson. I, I'm I'm letting it be known. I want her in Jackson and I want us to do whatever it takes to keep her. I'm gonna say it again, y'all. This was fun, man. And hopefully next time we play in the NCAA tournament, we play close enough for our fans to really enjoy it and be able to come. Man, bro, um, I really hope that um, we we get a chance to come back and 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 do this all over again. And um, 
Man, this is great though. I had a great seat. Hey man, I I I didn't. I don't think I missed many of the games this year. Uh, I, I went all out, man. If I, I and I wanted to show her that if I can go all out for football, I can definitely put a better effort towards trying to get to some of the games in Jackson. Now y'all know I live on the West Coast. Y'all that live in Jackson, Mississippi, ain't got no excuse. Get your butts to the game, y'all. Buy your season tickets. Go support the programs. Trust me when I tell you. Those young ladies appreciate Tiger Nation. They're thankful for the support. Coach Reed and her staff, they love, they love the support. They appreciate Tiger Nation, man. So uh, that's my thoughts on the game. Like I said, it, it went high. I thought it would go from an officiating standpoint. First quarter kind of killed us. We got behind real quick. Uh, we had to play catch up the rest of the game. But we can play with them girls, man. We showed. We should, we, we, it was nothing but respect. And if you took the line, they said we were 35 point underdogs. We covered that. We covered that easily by 13 points, baby. So, hey, man, we weren't coming out here to get blue out like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you give them some home cooking and you give them them calls, hey, man, now you're talking. That's the difference between a, 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 a single digit loss, or a 20 point loss. That's the that's the difference in the two. So anywho, man, listen, I'm not shut up. I got to get back to the airport. Um, I got to, it's going to take me about uh, a good hour. I got to turn this car in and I got to get to my flight, man. And, uh, you know, wish, you know, pray, pray for tra tra traveling grace. This weather looks hideous. Uh, the weather is pretty bad, but it's cold. I'm pretty sure they're used to this up here. I'm just trying to get the heck out of this. I, I, I came, I saw, we conquered, I had fun. It's good. Now it's time to go back to where it's warm at. Warm. Y'all spell that. Warm. W-O-M-E. Wong. Not, not Rome. Wong. <laughs> but y'all, man, I appreciate you guys, man. Listen, I'll say this right here, man. Uh, if you'd like to donate to the channel, hey, man, I just changed the ticket at the bottom. You can send it via Cash App, Ken Clark 1400. You can, you can send it PayPal. PayPal.me slash Ken Clark 1400. Or you can send it through Zelle. KC1400 Media Group at gmail.com, man. Hey, listen, you know I appreciate the support. I'm not going to open it up for folks. I already dropped the link. Nobody came up, so it is what it is. That's my reaction. I look forward to uh, speaking with TD and uh, Zoe and, and giving their thoughts and all that good stuff on about the game. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and shut it down now because I got to crank up, let the damn car thaw out. I mean, let it defrost, and then I'll head on over to the airport, man, and and uh and start my travel and start my journey back to the west coast man so hey listen we're gonna be back live on monday wednesday friday as usual uh but uh hey proud of our lady tigers man hell of a season coach reed see this man sis i love you i appreciate you thank you for being uh the standard the standard baby that's right i'm gonna take her hoodie when i go back to jackson and uh we're gonna do what we do man so Hey, y'all, like I said, man, um, if you're watching the channel now, go to She Loves D, go to my girl channel, and subscribe to her channel as well, man. She put that work in. Uh, she pulled up, and she she did what she needed to do to get here. And uh, I just wanted to make sure I, I show some support to her, man, And because uh, uh, this is a grind, man. Y'all, this is this is not easy. This ain't easy. This is, this is definitely a grind. You have to be committed to this. And I will not on air get into all the stuff that I've done personally to try to to really get, be able to do what it is I'm doing now. And a lot of people don't understand that that this is this is this is this is full time for me now. I told y'all that I was going to do it. Everything isn't still all the way uh, uh, settled with that. But um, if I could have my way, I'd be able to sustain my 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 life, being able to do sports media and, and continue to bring you guys the latest and greatest from Jackson State Sports and to be able to grow this collective to the utmost to the next level. And uh we got a partnership we got some partnerships coming down the pipe, man, that we're still finalizing. And um I want to mention um well I'm not gonna mention that right now because we got some meetings that we got to do uh during the blue and white week. I know we don't have it up there right now I'm waiting on the links, but blue and white week is the first week in April. The spring game is April the sixth. April the 6th, 1 p.m. at I think it's 1 p.m. Don't no no forget the time. I think it's 1 p.m. though. I, I I don't quote me on that though. But Thursday, April 4th, we're gonna have the golf classic. Ashley Robinson, WC Gordon Golf Classic. Um 
Friday, we got the donor reception. Saturday, we got the uh, spring, the blue and white game. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Y'all see me out. Y'all come holler at your boy. Uh, show some love. I, I show that love back. Before you go, if you're not a channel member, do your boy a favor. Click that link to join, man. Start at bronze and work your way up. Trust me when I tell you guys. Those memberships really, really, really help us be able to continue to do what we do and take the Saints to the next level. I thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go, y'all. I'm about to haul out. All right, man. Do y'all love? Go Tigers, baby. Peace out.